Hi friends, now let us take up the fourth concept in our uh, training session one. This is one of the most important concepts in programming studies. Regardless of the language, this is the first and foremost concept. That means every programming student must have clear knowledge about data types and variables because without using them, they, uh, they cannot write any program. Unfortunately, according to me, 90% of college students who are studying programming do not know the clear meaning of that. They use it from the program number one, they use them, but they do not know the uh, clear meaning of that. Being a prospective ecolabia, you should not be in that category. Whatever elements you are using in our program, you must have clear 100% understanding and you should acquire it in the first instance itself, not in stages, no later business. Whatever element or concept you are learning, right now you, you understand it perfectly and then and there you have to apply. Then only you can own that. From the beginning, this warning concept, many, many times I am telling you. So, in order to make the concept uh, your own, then uh, I explain it uh, from real life examples first as usual. Thereafter, technically, I explain. Okay. You invited 10 guests to your home for dinner. 10 guests for dinner to your home. And uh, what information you have to give? Your family members have to prepare food and uh, they have to make other, other arrangements also. Which information you are supposed to give? That's the first question. Normally, what you say? 10 members are coming, prepare for food. According to me, it is not correct information. Actually, they have to prepare food. If they prepare food, for all adult people, certain quantities they prepare. For children, they consume lesser. Babies, they take a different thing, very little. In such case, without just, I invited 10 guests, prepare food means, it is not correct information, not correct input. Suppose, you are studying in a college, I invited 10 of my friends for dinner. Then you need not tell about any categories and all that. Your friends means your age group only, all are adults only. Your family members prepare for them. But if you are calling some family friends for uh, or your uh, colleagues, families for dinner, you, you should give the correct information. How is, what is the correct information? I have invited. 10 guests for dinner. Out of that, 5 are adult people, 3 are children, 2 are babies. This is the correct information. Suppose if it is your case, definitely do that. I need not tell you and all that. If I tell you generally, you may not think of it. If it actually, if you invited 10 guests, 5 adult people, 3 children, 2 babies, definitely you explain the same thing to your family members. In that way, that is warning. Something is our own, we think in one manner. Something is general, we think in different manner. That is the most repeatable thing. It is a matter of common sense. So, this is three types. Here you see, adults, children, babies. Three types are there. This, why you are following, you know that. Because according to this description, your family members prepare food. Otherwise, food is wasted. Okay. Number two the most important. Container, article and container. In our day to day life, we use different types of articles like a pen, cell phone, books, files, laptop, etc. etc. You know that. For every type of article, you use a specific container, suitable container. Am I right? Suppose this is my pen. Where I put? I put in the pocket. My cell phone, I put here. Here. I never put in my briefcase. You never put in college bag. Why you don't put uh, cell phone in college bag means you know that. I need not explain. Where you put your college books? In college box. We use several types of container, like uh, namely, pocket, briefcase, 
सूट केस ट्रैली बैग 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 ईयर बैग गनी बैग लाइक डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ कंटेनर्स आर देयर विच आर यूज इन द वर्ल्ड इन डे टू डे लाइफ वाई डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ कंटेनर्स मीन्स आई नीड नॉट एक्सप्लेन फॉर एवरी थिंग वन सोटबिलिटी इज देयर द सोटबल कंटेनर ओनली यूज सो हियर फर्स्ट आर्टिकल देर आफ्टर द सोटबल कंटेनर ओके you never use same type of container for all the articles for that it is obvious i need not explain and i need not waste time okay in the same manner in programming let come to programming in programming we use different types of data already i explained about uh, the computer program what computer program does computer program manipulates data and gives whatever uh, result we expect predefined result for example let us recall our example what is our example mark report is the example from the beginning i am giving it so in mark report what is happening actually here 50 55 45 paper 1 paper 2 paper 3 these are these are your uh, three papers these are mark percentage in those papers okay these are input items thereafter your program process and generate uh, some result what is that result your total mark your total mark you are not entering who is doing your program is doing it adds the three the sum of the three and gives a total mark as 150 thereafter one more item also average mark percentage then 150 by 3 50% like if it a bigger mark report your grade etc and all that all those data is manipulated ultimately these results are being given okay here what are that first is data data this is data once data is manipulated means manipulated means you have to understand performing operations here which operation we performed we made plus here which operation we performed we made division total marks by number of papers so in this context what is very important data data is important we provided data according to this example which data we provided we provide name of the student class number roll number names of the papers and uh, marks percentage in papers etc items we gave to the program and uh, program receives it program receives it we type it on the keyboard then program receives it that process is called reading uh, reading okay actually program receives it data is like an article so data should be stored not dumped data is stored in computer memory we know that okay but it is not dumped in the memory for that it creates a suitable containers suitable cont suitable named containers so that is how to understand for this one example again suppose your age is there your age what is your age if i ask you you tell 22 or 31 or 16 or 17 always you tell a round figure means a whole number that is a uh, mathematically it is called integer integer number you tell actually except on one day in a year your your age is not a whole number on birthday only it is whole number remain is fraction number only but as a matter of practice we express our age as our completed years 22 means 22 completed years so age age what type integer type integer type mathematics if you already worked in mathematics you call it as an integer integer and in programming it is simply called as int because it is simplified and you need not write whole thing if you write int it is integer so your age is 20 then this happened 20 you this is the not equal to this is called assignment operator why it is called assignment operator letter i tell you just to understand that because of that what happens in memory one memory container is created in a computer memory one container is created its name is given age and uh, 20 stored here with reference to this i explain what is variable what is a data type 
because simply by hearting or learning by theory and all that you always have a abstract idea you never own it now our approach is owning every concept then and there not tomorrow also in order to make it own then i give you the explanation with reference to this you understand this is the memory container named memory container here after this memory container is called as actually container containers name just you construct a house you named it as sweet home sweet home thereafter everybody uh, recognize it as sweet home understand that is a container your house is also one type of container so it is named as sweet home here after people are calling it as sweet sweet home in the same way, manner here we are we are creating a container for storing data and we name it here after this is called uh, this is called variable variable and its type is int that means what you understand variable means a named memory container again you get it out actually years long you have been uh, using variables in mathematics in mathematics what do you mean by that variable means a quantity which is subject to change suppose a price is there price today 9 rupees 20 paise tomorrow it is 9 rupees 50 paise a day after tomorrow it will be 10 rupees 10 paise like that what quantity change in all the, that you call it as variable here context is different and here you understand the whole container named container as a variable and its type is int that is data type understand okay now i tell you uh, why it is called variable is there different sense actually what was your age previous year 19 this year what happened 19 is replaced by 20 next year what happens 20 will be replaced by 21 in this context that means the content the con the constant whatever is there inside that is replaced with another value so in that context is called variable this only this is starting concept here only computer students get programming student get confusion this con confusion is crept up so in this manner you have to understand what is variable what is data type many student i ask what is data type then data it is a type of data what is data type means the type of data is ridiculous is it a correct answer why you are late means i am late i am late is the correct answer for why are you late so correctly understand if you correctly understand you can correctly explain that point you have to understand okay i extend this concept a little more suppose your height is there your height your height obviously it is a, a fractional number you have fractional number so actually one thing you remember today your height is exactly 5 but after 6 months it may be 5.1 that's why that's the nature is uh, a fractional number and it is represented as a float actually in mathematics we call it real numbers real number means exact number exact number 5.1235 like that exact that's why we call as a real number but in programming language we call it is a float why it is float also i tell you 1 2 3 4 5 number is there here point is there it, it gives some value to that point is moved floated then it gives some other value point is moved some other value it give point is moved some other value so by floating by moving the point we are getting a different value we never use the type of notations in a, a programming that point you have to understand so this is float then what happens one memory container is created like this like this its name is height value is 5.5 and its type is float this is the variable named memory container its the type is float in this manner actually in uh, python text text also frequently used your name is nothing but text so that is represent str str means simple form of string you have to write like that a name balu actually whenever you are writing this uh, writing this then uh, uh, actually it should be enclosed by either single quotes or double quotes 
in other languages he used double quotes pair of double quotes as far as python is concerned single quotes are enough if you want double quotes also nothing wrong okay this knowledge is very much required what is variable what is data type but as i told you already python is a wonderful language it simplifies all whatever possible burden it can reduce that extent it reduces now we see in other language like c c plus plus java you have to write like that but in python you need not write like this you need not write this also just suppose age 20 if you put python can understand what is the type how it can understand if you give whole number it can understand is an integer type if you give a real number it can understand is a float if you give a text it can understand is a string in that way python is so simplified it wherever it is possible in all such places it reduces your burden it takes your burden how your parents take your burden to reduce your trouble or uh, difficulty how they share and all that here python takes your burden wherever it is possible so of course first you have to learn in that manner thereafter you have to learn in this way in this manner variable you have to understand what is variable what is data type